Well, good afternoon, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and we hope that you'll all have a good time today. The caregivers will stay there and give support and encourage your children to participate, and you participate too. It makes it much more meaningful to your child's um, education. So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. I see the sun shining today. I don't know what it's going to be next week when we're meeting with this video, but, but today is sunny out, and I see a sun over my shoulder. Do you see the yellow sun there, huh? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. These little children are asking to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. How about that? Think you can do that with me? Come on, just pretend. Pretend your sun is out. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind that tree. Ah, these little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Yeah. Well, some parts around here, there are bluebirds. Yeah, they they go down south uh, in the winter time. But this is a daddy. He has a bright orange belly and, and bright pretty blue feathers on top. And that's his song. And here's a wonderful song from, from when I was a little girl. Oh, zippity doo da, zippity a. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine heading my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's actual. Everything is satisfactual. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Yeah. Come on, let's sing that again. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day! Plenty of sunshine head my way. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Oh, Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's actual. Everything is satisfactory. Zippity doo da, zippity a. Wonderful feeling. Wonderful day. Yeah. If we don't know the words, we could clap to it, right? Or, or pat your legs or dance to it. Yeah, you can, you can do it with me too. You don't have to even say the words. Well, I'll tell you what. All right now, Wizzy Wizard has a little message and, and tip of the week for our parents and our caregivers. And it sort of reminds us about um, how your child learns and the importance of certain uh, activities. And children learn words best in a meaningful context. Children need clear information about words. Uh, hearing an unfamiliar word uh, is not enough uh, for them to gain an understanding. And it is important to relate the meaning of the word at the child's level, uh, some, relate it to something that they already know. Uh, and when we talk to them, we can help fill in the blanks in their understanding. Right, something at their level, something that they understand already. And that's how they gain vocabulary. <clears throat> well, my, my goodness, I think I see a forest here. Do you see a forest? There are different animals in the forest. It's hard for us to see them sometimes because they sort of um, camouflage, they sort of hide because there are some dangerous creatures in the forest too that think they're mighty tasty. One is a wolf. So here's a book that's really fun. And this is a book by Claudia Ruda. And a friend of mine, Barbara, out in Chicago, who is a teacher, 
She recommended it. She thought it would be fun. And what does it say? Let's play in the forest. Oh, well, the wolf is not around. Hmm? Let's see what this is all about. I see some animals playing. And I see little red riding hood too. Do you? Huh? There they are running to the forest. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my underpants. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my undershirt. Uh-oh. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you, are you there? I'm putting on my pants. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my t-shirt. Uh-oh, almost dressed. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my socks. Uh-oh, let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. I'm putting on my shoes. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my jacket. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm combing my hair. Let's play in the forest while the wolf is not around. Wolf, are you there? I'm putting on my backpack. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Wolf, are you there? Yes, and I am very hungry. And I am going to eat. I am going to eat. Pancakes, my favorite. Hurry up or you'll be late for school. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Are you there? Huh? Are you still there? Good. Well, there is a forest, but farmers can't be in the forest unless they have forest other things other than crops. But let's pretend now that we're we're out on a on a farm, shall we? There we go. And that farm has a dog. And what is that dog's name? Bingo. Right. And guess what? This is how we spell bingo with these letters. B I N 
G. Oh, there we go. Once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, one letter, B, no more B, one clap. Once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, I-N-G-O, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, Oof. no, goodbye, I, no more I. Two claps, can you clap twice? Oh, once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, N-G-O. NGO and bingo was his name. Oh, oh. goodbye, N. No more N. Three claps. Once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, Geo, Geo and bingo was his name. Oh, well, we spelled go, but we're going to take the G away. No more G. Four claps, that's a lot. Let's see how well you do. Once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and bingo was his name. Oh, goodbye, oh, no more, no more letters, no more, oh, five claps. Once a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name, oh, woof, woof. Well, we'll try this one again. <laughs> Last week we had some fun with it. What is this, a pea pod, right? Right, and there are five peas in there because we counted them last week. So pretend you have five peas in your fist and you put your fist like this and then that's gonna grow. Five little peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day that pod went pop. Now, see if you can do that, and I will see if their pe peas are still there. Five little peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day that pod went. Pop! Oh, Brady Jean, you're getting kind of weak. There we go. We opened it up, and there are the peas. Let's count them, shall we? One, two, three. Four. How many fingers do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Right. Five. Two and three are five. And three and two are five. And one and four are five. And four and one are five. Very tricky. Hmm? Well. I have a cat. She's not a real cat. I did have real cats, yes, but not anymore. And there's a kitten too. And I had kittens too, right? I like cats. I like cats. And this is a book that I like too by Patricia Hubble. <clears throat> I like cats. I like cats. Oh, look at all those different cats. <clears throat> Thin cats, fat cats. Curl up in my hat, cats. White cats, black cats. Ah. <laughs> Sneak a little snack, cats. 
Oh, they are tricky. My cat used to do that too. He'd sit there and watch my mother uh, cut up the meat and then he'd go boop and he'd pop it on the floor and then he'd jump down and get it. Gray cats, brown cats, parade around the town cats. Look at that. The big balloon, I can send the parades. Cats with stripes, cats with socks. Cats with orange polka dots. Cats in baskets, boxes, vases. <laughs> Cats in all their hiding places, like the little sink, and all oh, they love paper bags. Cats that pounce or curl in nooks. China cats and cats in books. Yeah, there's a China cat. And it looks like he's about to break. Yeah. Cats that wrestle gloves and mittens. Cats alone and cats with kittens. Farm cats, city cats, sing a little ditty cats. Look at that. Fluffy cats, sleek cats, kiss me on the cheek cats. Prowling cats. Howling cats wake me with their yowling cats. So, uh, yeah, when, when pets used to be free um, in the neighborhoods, they would keep us awake. Cats on tables, cats on chairs, cats among my teddy bears. Did you see the cat? Huh? Cats that creep, cats that leap on my tummy, on my head, on my toes, and in my bed. <laughs> I like cats. It's plain to see. I like cats. And cats like me. Why do you think they like him? Because he's very gentle with him. We like cats, but we have to respect them and respect the way they are. And they can be very nervous if you are too rough with them. So you have to pet them very, very carefully. <clears throat> Pussy cat, pussy cat, where have you been? You've been, you've been. I've been to London to visit the queen, the queen, the queen. And pussy cat, pussy cat, what did you do there? Do there, do there. I frightened the little mouse under her chair, her chair, her chair. Oh, poor mouse. Pussy cat, pussy cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. Pussycat, pussycat, what did you do there? I frightened the little mouse under her chair. Oh, poor mouse. Well, I'm used to it, says the mouse. I'm used to that old cat. <clears throat> rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Never show your face again. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Rosie wants to play. Rain, rain, go to Spain. Never show your face again.
<clears throat> well, let's see. Dr. Foster. What happened to my Dr. Foster? Gracious me, what did I do? I left him behind. Just excuse me for just a minute and we'll get Dr. Foster. Doctor, doctor, someone needs you in Gloucester. Here he is. Oh, but he has to walk. He has to walk because he doesn't have a car. Oh my goodness me, that poor man. And it's raining. Oh, Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He fell into a puddle right up to his middle and never went back there again. Well, I'm sure they had a doctor in Gloucester too. So here he is walking, walking, walking. Oh, for miles. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester in a shower of rain. He fell into a puddle right up to his middle and never went back there again. Gracious sakes. Well, my last book here is Fly. This is a little teenage fly and he hasn't learned to fly yet, just like our teenagers haven't learned to drive yet. When he was a baby, he was a, what we call a maggot, a little wormy thing. But this is by Carl Newsom Edwards. Fly. How does he learn to fly once he gets his wings? And here he is wondering what he's going to do. I don't know what to do with these wings, he says. Wiggle, said the earthworm. So the fly tries to wiggle. Jump, says the cricket. Well, I guess that's a grasshopper, sorry. Jump, says the fly as he tries to jump. Oh. Roll, says the sow bug. Roll? I don't think so. I'll try it. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. March, 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 said the ants. March? Well, I don't get very far doing that. Swing, said, said the spider. Swing? Well, I don't know how to do that. Doesn't work for me. Chomp, chew, chomp, chew. Chomp, chew? Chomp, chew, like the caterpillar? That sure didn't taste good. Didn't help. I still don't know how to fly. Dig, said the beetle. Dig, said the fly. If he tries to dig a hole and can't. No, that doesn't work. Oh, I can't do that. Buzz, flutter, flit, flit, said the bee, the butterfly, and the dragonfly. Flutter, right? Buzz, flutter, flutter. Flit, flit. Oh, the fly is looking at them. What is he going to do, do you think? Buzz, flutter, flip. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Buzz, flutter, flip. Buzz, flutter, flip. Hey, he took off. There he goes. Fly. Yay. Yes, fly. Right, and everyone's cheering. Yes, fly. Well, that's how we learn anything, right? We have to keep trying and trying and trying. And someday, then we learn, right? Just like reading. Just like reading. We try, try, and try. Just like we did when we were babies walking, right? Sure. Well, here's an old song. And those pesky flies, they sure are, when they come into the house and they are, a, they are a nuisance, yeah. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. 
Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Can you skip? Huh? Well, well you can try, right? Right or hop? Huh? Or jump? Right. <laughs> little red wagon painted blue. Little red wagon painted blue. Little red wagon painted blue. Skip to my loo, my darling. Now here we go. You ready? Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Come on, let's try that one again. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Flies in the buttermilk shoe, fly shoe. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip. Skip to my loo, skip to my loo, my darling. Okay, stop now. We're going to see, pretend to be painting. Can you pretend you're painting? Little red wagon painted blue. Little red wagon painted blue. Little red wagon painted blue. Skip to my loo, my darling. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip, skip, skip to my loo. Skip to my loo, my darling. Good job, good job, good job. Well, I think it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to the little, little bluebird. <clears throat> and, and goodbye to Bingo. Can you say goodbye to Bingo? And goodbye to Granny Jean. Goodbye to Granny Jean's cat kitties, huh? And bye-bye to all my friends. And bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>